Welcome to Clifford's Fun with Opposites. Our story is called The Pet Show. from me. Ah! It's a jungle in here. I mean, it's a jungle out there. Right this way, everyone, for the second annual pet show. Big or small, come one, come all. <laughs> Hi, you're new around here, aren't you? Uh, who, me? Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. My name's Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog, Clifford. Whoa! Hi there. What's your name? Uh, Jeremy. Clifford and I are in charge of organizing this year's pet show. Him. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's Simon. He's one of our official judges, along with Clifford. Ah! Ah! This show is going to the dogs. <laughs> Where have you been, Simon? I've been looking for you. Ah! Ah! Hold on to your hats! Ah! Ah! And this is Bartholomew. Goodbye! Or is it hello? Hi! Bartholomew! Don't come here! I thought I told you to stay in your cage. What a bird. Whatever I tell him, he does the exact opposite. Now be quiet. Ah! Where'd everybody go? Who turned out the lights? Help! See what I mean? Now he's louder than ever. I want hot dogs. You said there'd be hot dogs. Well, Jeremy, we've got lots to do before the show. You can stay and help if you want. Uh, no thanks. I have to go now. Okay, see you later, Jeremy. Everyone's got a pet except me. Let's organize the show by dividing the animals into two groups. Okay, Emily Elizabeth. I want you to put the big animals in one group and the small animals in another group. Hmm, I know. Do you? Uh. Oh, he was in the wrong group. Forget it, Clifford. This way isn't going to work. I think we should organize the pets in a different way. In groups of quiet and loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clifford. I've changed my mind again. How about all the animals with long legs in one group and all those with short legs in the other group? Hmm. What about pets with no legs? I see the problem. There are so many opposite ways to arrange the pets. Big and small animals, short and long-legged animals. I just can't figure out the best way. Maybe a song will help. Some things are opposite. Some things are the same. Compare Game. Soft as butter, soft as silk is the opposite. 
a seat of hard as a nail A gentle wind, a pleasant breeze Is the opposite of a gale A nap is the same as a doze or a snooze The opposite of wide awake You know genuine means the same as real And the opposite of fake Being too hot or being too warm Is the opposite of being chilly And being very serious Is the opposite of being silly When things go well we say Long tails and short tails. <laughs> That's the short tails. Good, Clifford. And those are the long tails. Good work, Clifford. Whoa. I wish I had a pet. Then I could enter the pet show, too. Ah! Those ribbons are awful! When do I get mine? I know you want to win a ribbon, Bartholomew. But you'll just have to wait for the show to begin, like everybody else. Ah! I'm full! I mean, I'm hungry! Where's my lunch? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Jeremy? Huh? Oh, nothing. Are you sure? Well, it's just that I'm new here and I don't have a pet. And I haven't made any friends yet. You know Emily Elizabeth and Kevin and me. Well, yeah, but I don't have a pet for the pet show. That doesn't matter. The pet show's for everybody. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm with you, Clifford. <laughs> ah, I'm stuffed. I mean, I'm starving. I've got to find a way to get into this cage. Ah, I mean, out. What's this? There it goes. I mean, here comes Clifford and Jeremy. Ah, maybe I can trick them. Ah, help! For me! Huh? Suddenly I'm feeling very weak. Ah, ah. Clifford, look at Bartholomew! Huh? Are you all right, Bartholomew? Not anymore! Maybe we should get Kevin. Maybe we should throw some water on him. Good idea! Ah, yes! I mean, no! Huh? I mean, I'm so cold! I'll warm you up, Bartholomew. What? I mean, I'm hot as a potato! Bartholomew! Come back here! What? Hello? I mean, goodbye! Uh-oh. What will we do now, Clifford? We've got to catch him. Quick, climb on. Okay, let's hurry. <laughs> Not a bird in sight. I mean, all those birds can only mean one thing. Food! Over there, Clifford. Ah, I hope I'm early. I mean, I hope I'm not too late for lunch.
Split up. There's only a few nails left. Do we have any more? This pail is almost empty. I think I saw a pail full of nails over by the ribbon table. I'll go check. I'm sure I saw a pail here. Aha! Here it is. And it's full! Right here beside Bartholomew's cage. Bartholomew! What's wrong, Kevin? Bartholomew's not in his cage. Maybe you forgot to close the cage door. No, I don't think so. Maybe somebody opened it. Somebody who doesn't have a pet, like Jeremy. Somewhere. Ah! Hmm. No Bartholomew here. Come on, you guys. I thought you were going to eat, not take baths. Ah! Great. I finally found Bartholomew. Kevin, I'm sure we'll find Bartholomew. Let's split up and search the park. Okay. Psst. Huh? Psst. Emily, over here. Clifford, what is it? Bartholomew is lost and we've got to find him. I know where he is. Uh, that is, I don't know where he is. But I know where he was and where he isn't. Huh? Jeremy might know where he is, but I don't know where Jeremy is. You mean Jeremy did take Bartholomew? Not exactly. Uh, I helped. You took Bartholomew? Uh, yes. I mean, no. Uh, yes and no. Bartholomew tricked us. Why didn't you say so? Come on, we've got to find him! A surprise banquet in my honor? It's about time! Hmm, that's good! Got any more? Uh, I sure hope so. Oops, I guess I don't. What? No more cookies? No pretzels? No jelly beans? Ah, I think I'm feeling faint again! Look! Over there! It's Jeremy! And Bartholomew! Okay, hold on! Ah! Whoa! Slow down, Clifford! You're going too fast! Oh! Yeah! Whoa! Oops. Jeremy, are you all right? You're soaking wet. And you, you rascal Bartholomew. We've been looking all over for you. Ah, there I am. I mean, here I am. Ah, I'd love to stay and play. But duty calls! Bartholomew, come back here! Chocolate ice cream? What a dream! Look! There he is! Okay, we'll have 
to sneak up on him so he doesn't take off again. I guess I should hide. But where? Hmm. That gives me an idea. What? Ah, I'm the ice cream inspector. It's my job to check the ice cream. Maybe we should start with the strawberry last. I mean first. I mean a song last. Ah, I mean a song first. What about a song? I'm the opposite man. The opposite man. I do the opposite of what you plan. I'm the opposite man. If you say stop, then I go. If you say fast, then I go slow. If you ask me to understand, I say I don't know. I'm the opposite man. The opposite man. I do the opposite of what you plan. I'm the opposite man. Now listen to what I say, and we'll have some fun today. Take two steps forward and I'll take two back, because that's the opposite, and that's a fact. I'm the opposite man, the opposite man. I do the opposite of what you plan, I'm the opposite man. Now I want you all to say yes, 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 so I can say no, no, no. Now everybody say hello, hello, so I can say goodbye because it's time to go. I'm the opposite man, the opposite man. I do the opposite of what you plan. Oh, I'm the opposite man. Oh, I love that song just about as much as ice cream. What about the chocolate? What about the chocolate? Ah! 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 Freezing! How cold! Chocolate! Ah! It's freezing in there, Bartholomew. Why don't you come out here where it's warm? Come out? Ah! Never! Why should I? It's great in here! Oh, this is hopeless. What will we do now? I've got an idea. We're tired of chasing you, Bartholomew. Why don't you just go away? What? Go away? Never! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's keeping Emily and Clifford. We can't find them or Bartholomew anywhere. Ah! Ah! Feed me! I'm home. Yes, there I am. I mean, here I am, home to roost. Bartholomew, you're okay. No, I feel terrible. Feed me first, then let's get this show on the road. Emily Elizabeth, Clifford, I can't thank you enough. Where did you find him? Well, actually, we didn't find him. Jeremy did. Jeremy? But I thought you took Bartholomew. No, Bartholomew tricked us. And I thought you had to go home. I said that because I was afraid to make new friends. But Clifford showed me that I don't have to be afraid. How would you like to be one of the judges in the pet show, Jeremy? Oh, wow, sure, that would be great. Can we get on with this pet show? Where's my prize? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all you pets and owners. Please get ready for the judges' decisions for the second annual pet show. And the winner for the longest pet is Shorty the Snake. the pet with the curliest hair is Hadley the Poodle. And 
we have a tie for the pet with the longest arms. Boom Boom and Whisper. <laughs> For me? What kind of pet show is this? Oh, yes, Bartholomew. I almost forgot. You get the prize for the best behaved pet. <laughs> <laughs> best behaved? Don't you mean the worst behaved? Yes, Bartholomew. If you say so. <laughs> And the last prize for the quietest pet goes to one of the judges. And that's the end of our pet show until next year. Wait a minute. I'd like to give out one more prize to the biggest pet, but I can't decide who to give it to. The biggest and best friend. Oh, shucks. You know, playing with opposites is fun. And you can find them everywhere. See how many opposites you can find at home or in your neighborhood. Try it. It's fun. Goodbye. Arf, arf. Thank you.